Der Dienst in der Marine hat Tradition in meiner Familie. Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. And we are continuing on with our Season 2 playthrough as U48 on U-Boat. Uh, a couple things before we get started. I did get some pretty helpful tips from uh, people in the comment section about uh, ways to improve the uh, gameplay. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Um, I actually reloaded the game because... Uh, well, the tips were involving um, adding crew to the engineer. Uh, I added a couple uh, crew members. I promoted them, made them engineers. Um, and then I tried moving the sonar decoys from the storage unit back here to uh, Captain Krautman. And they didn't move. It kept saying moving forever. So we're going to give that a shot again and see what happens here. Uh, we're going to give him one and see if it moves it. Here he's getting up, going into the cabinet. <clears throat> Yep, there he's got sonar decoys now. That's good. So he didn't need all ten of them. Uh, the, o the other thing about the sonar decoys, I looked it up online, and um, does there's a icon somewhere around here to where you can use the sonar decoys? But I'm not seeing any icon. I went to the uh, upgrade your ship option with the uh, supply officer there, there was no option to upgrade uh, anything back here for the sonar decoys. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens once we uh, go out on our patrol. Um, our crew discipline right now is at 39%. I was playing music uh, in the background and that was improving it. I also moved some uh, food. Oh, I don't want Captain Crowman anymore. There we go. You can move a variety of food over uh, to the galley. That'll make people happy. Uh, give them some cheese, too. So lange auf See. Ich nicht mehr aus. There. So that should make them happy. Um, the other thing was I had a, a couple of officers down here. Uh, I added two radio men and two engineers. And then I took off towards my patrol sector and nobody would go to their stations at all. I couldn't get either one of my radio operators to go to the radio room. Um, couldn't get our navigator to go to his navigator station. No one would go on the observation, um... The targeting site. So the map kind of went blank. Because I didn't have a navigator. Nobody was looking out. So I reloaded it. I am not going to dick around with the crew. Um, Dr. Prine is actually he is going to grab a... med kit so he can help people a little easier and there he goes he's now got a med kit in his inventory I had no idea that they had that you could add stuff to him um, I do tend to just jump into games and play it and kind of rely on the tips that I get for getting better those tips don't come till the 18th episode of the second season, and that's when I'll act on those tips. So, this is going to be episode number 19 of season two. We have our next mission is to patrol. Sounds right in my face. Up in here, uh, we do have 10,000 tons that we have to. Uh, 
sink. We've got some damage. Um, I'm going to get U-48 moving and head off to our patrol sector. Uh, once we get moving, I'll turn the radio back on. I can't really play that much as you guys would probably want to hear 30s radio stations out of uh, various parts of Europe. I can't do it without getting hit with a copyright strike on YouTube, so I'll just have to enjoy it myself. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Alright, we are in our patrol sector, currently running along with our snorkel up in the air. Uh, we did get spotted by an aircraft. They dropped depth charges, but missed. Um, so, we are... Uh, making our way through the patrol sector here. Uh, I just want to see if there's any options here. I don't see any. I don't see any options at all here. That would help if I had the UI on. Um, still not seeing any options to Use the sonar decoys, but it's all right. Uh, right now, this is our patrol pattern. Uh, we haven't seen any ships, just that plane. Um, so we're gonna continue on with our patrol here. We're gonna do it while we're underwater for the time being until our battery is hopefully not depleted, but close to it. And then we're gonna surface and. Recharge the batteries here. Now let's have you rest. Actually, play cards. And you can go to the listening room. Okay. Well, hello there. 8 to 18 ships. How far out are they? 33 miles. Uh, batteries at a hundred percent. We're using the diesel engines right now, so that's a good thing. Let's see which direction these guys are headed. They're headed this way. We'll make way for them. Got that intercept course like that. They have to come up to the surface to uh, <clears throat> get on the attack periscope there, Krautman. Probably won't even be able to see him just yet. That's yeah, raining. It's almost nighttime. We could probably surface and run uh, quicker on the surface here. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Make sure here. Oh, full sweep to the direction that they were at. If we can see any smoke on the horizon, nothing yet. I'm gonna surface the boat for the time being. Um, get a little closer to them, and then we'll uh. Move in on the attack. Right. There they are, right there. They were one, two, three, four, five. That's yeah, quite a large convoy, so. Get a little closer here. It 
does look like we're running a decent decent course to intercept them. <clears throat> Smoke over the horizon detected. Sounds good to me. Alright, we'll get a little closer and then move in on the attack. We kind of got foiled here by an aircraft. So far they haven't started depth charging me or anything, but... They are up there. I can't tell if they've uh, radioed the convoy just yet. But we do have sight of some of the ships. There's a couple destroyers right here. Uh, they may be in the lead. Let's uh, switch course. Uh, see what we can come up with. Been a hard time seeing anything here. Alright, there's... Ooh, look at that guy. They're heading away from me. Isn't really all that good. It's a freighter. Pretty sure it's a C3. Uh, we're looking at almost 8,000 tons right now. He's outside of our... If there's anything else, they may have radioed in. Which is beyond fortunate. A C3 would be a nice target. But... So far, that's the only ship I see. I'm gonna head in this direction. Try and get around them and come at them from the other side. See what happens here. Alright, so... Couldn't get into position around them. Now we're outside of our uh, patrol sector here, so I'm going to head back in. Uh, these planes are buzzing around me fairly consistently. So we'll do a patrol like that, kind of try and stay a little uh, further away from land. Um, if we quickly drop down to, uh, down to hydrophone depth here, or periscope depth, we can use our hydrophone. Yeah, see, they're outside our... Outside our patrol sector, which is unfortunate. So I guess we'll head back in and see if we can find anything inside the magical box. Alright, so I've seen nothing but planes. Really, really. So I'm going to try and shoot one of them down. I never actually shot a plane down, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how this works out. Trying to lead him. Definitely coming down to cause some problems here. Uh-oh. Wow. 
man. Hurry up, reload. Where's the dash? Well, we're kind of screwed. Uh, let's get... Wilhelm Meyer. We'll take care of him back. Guess he's going to shoot him on his own. Did hit the plane. Coming in for his approach. I don't have any depth charges left. That looks like he's leaving, actually. I know. circling. Did hit him. Saw the smoke puff. I don't think we're gonna get any more hits on him though, unless he comes real close. He doesn't seem to be uh, inclined to do. Get down to periscope depth. Uh, let's get some of these guys. He's working on damage control. guys with you. You can have them. Like I've said, I've seen nothing but planes. Every time I pop up to the surface, I'm swarmed by planes, but I mean, where we are. Oh. I uh, get on the hydrophone. Not even halfway to where we should be in terms of mileage. I was thinking it might be better to come in down here. Auf diese Make Der this. Wolle, we'll try Kurs over here. Ei, ei, Herr See if we can catch anything coming in or out Der of the cha channel. But U-48's under the water once again. As you can see. Alright, U-48 completed its assigned mileage in this patrol sector here. All I saw was planes. Uh, and... Coming up to the surface, 
to charge my batteries and then seeing a plane waiting till night coming up to the surface charging my batteries spending the whole day submerged all planes buzzed around me didn't give me a chance to do much searching so i didn't see anything except planes so here we go we're going back to willems or uh la rochelle empty-handed kind of annoying to be honest with you I know that's part of the game and part of what they had to deal with in real life, but you go out on a patrol, you expect to actually encounter ships to sink, uh, which we didn't. We did have a bunch of crew get stressed out, um, or overworked, actually. Uh, they didn't bother to go to bed. Uh, Dr. Prine saved Kurt Hoffman's life. He also administered first aid to uh, the captain there, or... Uh, Schuster saved the captain's life. The, yeah, seven days, reached the patrol area, and that's it. So let's, uh, let's fuel up our boat. See if I can get rid of these mines. Give this guy his perk. Uh, leader. Give him the discipline. Speak Spanish. It's, there's a perk never seen before. Alright. What I want to do is I want to get rid of my... those mines that are in there, but... can't do it. Oh. Didn't use any torpedoes. We'll fill the tanks. Um, pick our next mission. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. That was a lame patrol. The, what for you was 20 minutes it was. About oh, two hours for me trying to dodge all these planes. So, very time consuming. Um, let's see. Got the southern route. We haven't done any of them yet. It's a. a medium chance. Uh, right off the course, coast of Portugal. Medium chance. Small chance. Here's two out of three. This is what I wanted to do. Wanted to get up to that 10,000, so we're going to do this one here. Going to head out on our patrol again. We've only got sank 7,000 tons, so hopefully we can actually find something here. Uh, there goes U-48. Off to patrol. Hopefully, complete the uh, third uh, campaign objective there. All right, so bad news. Uh, you see, we're down an officer down here. Um, one of my guys <laughs> fell overboard and died, and it just happened to be my engineer. Which isn't good. So, so we'll go into the uh, menu and find ourselves a crew to uh, promote here. Uh, who do we want to promote? Max Meyer is definitely not an option. Norbert Schultz. I can't promote Norbert Schultz. And assign Norbert Schultz. All right. Well, we don't have an engineer now. So, well. <laughs> All right. We may have gotten a handout here. 
very valuable radar prototype is being transported a beaker on Beacon Hill cargo ship headed to the port of Boston where it will be fitted onto a dedicated warship for testing. Uh, we estimate that it's currently passing through a square of BE-491. So 491 is down here, so let's start booking. All right. Try and get into position. We'll slow down a little bit. Maybe not that much. Let's see if we can see anything out here. Oh, it's dark. Not exactly having a fun time playing today here. Seems like a whole lot of nothing's happened and time has been spent that I don't really have. Uh, let's see. Oh, this went right past him. Oh, we'll keep going, then come back. Oh my god. We are close. Alright, turn around. Now we should be able to see him. Maybe not. The dead of night. on the periscope depth just stop get uh get you on the listening room we have to follow him we got plenty of room to do it how far out are we nine miles See what we have first here. Right, they're behind us. Oh, we're right in the middle of them. Feindlich hat Zerstörer auf. Neun Uhr. We're moving a little bit. All right. Not gonna be able to see anything. Most rather attack during the day. See anything, do anything with this. Just uh, come to a stop. Uh, make your death 100 feet, let him pass. It's definitely a very, very large convoy that we've got. But we're gonna... Uh-oh. Awesome. Great. And yeah, they know something's here, but... I don't think they know where we are. And they went back to the convoy. But we've got a lot of patrol sector to work with, so come up to the surface and make our way out in front of them. All right, so we've sighted in on the Beacon Hill. Uh, 
Uh, Beacon Hill is not a tanker. We get Empire Bell. We get distance reading here. You have a bit of a dilemma. 3.1 miles, take the velocity. My dilemma is my engineer drowned. He fell overboard and drowned. So, I don't have anyone to reload torpedoes. Oops. Try again. It says they're going 13 knots in the message, but I want to make sure. And uh, we do have, unfortunately, one mine still in our tubes that I haven't been able to get rid of. Which is unfortunate because we've got a lot of different targets to choose from. We could even launch out on two different ships in our front and a stern shot at a destroyer that's behind us. 10 knots. So she's going slower than the rest of the convoy, huh? Oh, we got this one. This is a, well, that's a tanker. This is gonna be a tough sell here. Too bad we weren't on the other side of them. Let's identify this one. Might just take a shot at her. One, uh... I don't know what the hell a coaster is. I've never seen that before. Uh... No. Dale class? Yeah, we can go with Dale class. Check the velocity on the Dale class. Or I could want, launch a, one at one of the destroyers. Might not be a bad way to go. But that tonnage is just... That tonnage is tempting. Alright, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time with this guy. Means we've got this... Right here. Uh, three, four stacks. I think it's a county. Town class. And with town, I'm going to set the velocity at 13. I didn't do any type of, uh... Yeah, he's way too close. I only have three torpedoes, too. Want to make sure I get that one ship down. It'd be nice to be able to take out a destroyer as well. But I don't know if that's uh, so good. Really good idea here. I mean, I could. But if that uh, target ship doesn't. Doesn't sink with two torpedoes. Got herself a bit of a problem. Could also do this guy. My stern tube. get everything all set up. Give me my one shot here. No 
think this is gonna work. May have to go one on the uh, tanker and or all three. I'm going all three. Worry about the rest of them. All right, let's focus on uh, focus on our target here. Find it again. Probably her right there. Yeah, similar to Empire Bell. Start inching forward. Gonna put us in a bad spot with all these destroyers around, but really want to try this. Have to be one on the Dale and then one on the, uh, or two on the. Our bell. make a decision here what I'm going to do. It's not a Liberty ship. Dale. I think she's heading away from us now, too. <clears throat> That's taking forever. knots distance of oops 4.6 miles let's reread the uh Take a distance reading here. Two point seven. Our torpedoes are going to pass right in front of that destroyer.
Oh, what to do, what to do. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this may be a really bad idea, but I'm going to launch on... this transport make sure it's uh two tubes and then i'm gonna launch on the destroyer that's right in front of me all right tubes one and two make sure we have a course here nine three Nine three point one. That's about as close as I'm gonna get. Close. All right, unlock. Take another distance reading here. We got a little bit of time to play with before the torpedo gets there. They're one point six miles distant. Course of 090 Alright, that's about good And fire. Nose! This way. I could actually shoot the stern tube. That guy, but not going to. Uh, pick up the speed a little bit. Like I said, we have no engineer, so there's no reloading. These tubes, if we miss, we're done. We have no way to put more torpedoes in our tubes. I tried adding a guy as an engineer and just wouldn't work. Couldn't promote him. I guess can't do that while you're out. Der torpedo is auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 40 Sekunden bis torpedo einschlag. So these are looking not the best. Let's dive down. 128 feet. They're definitely, these are definitely going to hit this guy. Let's see the damage that we did. Oh, that was a hit on the destroyer. For sure. Whether or not it's enough to sink her. There she goes. Alright. So we sank the destroyer. There she goes. Feuer on deck. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Ah. Head due south. These aren't actually looking too bad. They aren't looking bad at all. That stern one's probably going to miss. Can't see him underwater. Well, there's one hit. The other one miss. Yes, it did. All right. Is that serious damage? I don't know if one torpedo is going to do it or not. It's listing pretty heavy. Not 
sure if she's going to sink or not. Let's head right for her. There she goes. We got her. All right, now we just got to get away. We got one destroyer, two destroyers, three destroyers, four destroyers. There we go. Beacon Hill sunk. Turn out this way. We only sunk 4,361 tons. So if we do re-engage, we're going to have to do it with our uh, with our stern tube to try and get the... Uh... We could go for a tanker. I think they're going to find us. And we're in the middle of this group. Let's actually climb up to 90 meters. Run right inside their arc. And hopefully uh, get away from them. Okay, we are going to try and evade these destroyers, uh, get out in front of the convoy, and launch our one stern torpedo. Uh, no engineer, we have no way of reloading, so uh, hopefully we can get that tanker and uh, get the tonnage that we need to uh, fulfill the campaign objective here. Uh, I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the episode that we were, uh, or that I was having problems. I added a bu couple crew members, uh, promoted them. I added uh, two more engineers and uh, two more radio operators, officers. And uh, when I left port and went to assign tasks uh, to the officers that were on duty, none of them would man their stations. If you wouldn't happen to know... Uh, why that is and how to correct it if you could let me know in the comments down below uh, That would be fantastic uh, Anyway, we're gonna pick this up in the next episode uh, Hopefully we can accomplish everything that we set our minds to and uh, get back to port and uh, get ourselves a new chief engineer Quite a shame that we lost the uh, one that's been with us the uh, whole patrol or the whole career here with Captain Krautman in U-48 Anyway, if you like this episode, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, particularly advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you want to follow along through the rest of our Season 2 career on U-Boat, hit the subscribe. You can come along with us. And we'll pick this up for ep in episode number 20, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.